Day one. Door's already dirty. It's okay. That's the perks of having fat tires and no mud flaps. Because, well, Door is such a beast that she just knocks mud flaps right off. Now, we're gonna take this and deliver it later today. Yee. These guys have some hints on Bigfoot. This is episode one. Uh, HVAC Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Instead of Ghost Adventures. <laughs> yeah. and it's important that you don't get your, your fiberglass and stuff in front of the valve action and cause it to malfunction. You see how there's nothing nothing in front of that valve action that's gonna cause yeah. it to malfunction. Then you can take your little <coughs> strike there and peel it off. You just wanna do it all as neatly and tuck it as you can. So that surface body is completely exposed. And then let me see a couple pieces of tape. <coughs> Here's a few. The first step in this process is some baby powder. Mm -hmm. Powder up. And one thing that I've always tried to tried to do is don't smash it down so bad. Or try to lay it around it so that it's somewhat smooth. And then leave your seams the best you can at the top. And sometimes it works with your hands, sometimes you might have to use the rub down. There you go. And it's laying over there. And then you just take up your butt joint. This tape's got a starter on it, so you just have to fold it and open it. Now you're gonna make you're gonna make a cut here. Listen, you're gonna want. Now you're gonna make you're gonna make a cut here. Listen, you're gonna want to cut to your this is your inside length, and then you get your outside length. So your inside length is seven inches, and your outside length is gonna be whatever it is. <coughs> so you need that piece to be seven inches long, and then that's where you're gonna start your miter. So figure out your seven inch line on here. Okay. Now don't don't tear it yet. Don't tear it yet. But just mark it so you know where it's at. You can punch it with the tip of the knife. Okay, now remember that's gonna be your inside edge. So you're gonna move that over to your angle. You want a you want a 90 degree miter. So instead of cutting it straight across, you're gonna try to cut it alongside of that 90 degree miter line. Now, that piece, since this is theoretically supposed to be your seven inches, you're gonna have to trim it up, which is not uncommon. So we're gonna shave off the end.
in view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die and he came back to life. He's the reason why that we don't have to strive. Yes, he paid the price just for you and me. Then he broke all our chains and gave us victory. By his blood, we are victorious. Jesus, your love and kindness, it is so glorious. No, we don't deserve it, but you do it.
Ephesians 6, 1 says, Children, obey your parents Anyways, because you belong to the Lord, for this is the right thing to do. That's not for me. That's for little obey, brother Matthew. Obey your children. <laughs> wait, I'm obey your children. Obey, obey your, obey your parents. parents. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, according to Cheryl, which is the head janitorial lady here at the library, she had witnessed a book fall off the shelf. Uh, she's heard noises. She's felt presence of eyes watching her when there's no one else around and there's multiple of other stories that people here in Hutch can tell you about the haunts of the library but the stories happen in this very next room that you're about to see let's go over there real quick check it out just the stairwell right oh the stairwell and this whole this entire room yeah you got all your religious books right here my entire room. She, she was cleaning this room one night, and she literally heard a book fall off the shelf and turned around and saw the book and laying on the floor. The she, crazy. she was the only one down here. There you go. Oh, guys, there you go. That's today's vlog. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, drop a comment down below. We will catch you tomorrow. Have a great day. God bless.